right now I'm melting my um, beauty, which is ultra thick embossing enamel. Um, I'll set this aside for now so I can show you how to shape the flowers. The colors I'm using today are, um, this is the Paper Temptress Amethyst Mica Metallic. And then this is from uh, Basic Gray's Green at Heart Pad. Then the leaves are also from the Basic Gray Green at Heart Pad. Leaves. You want to curl it a little bit. So I just use my poker tool. You can use whatever. Um, you can use paintbrush, poker tool, whatever you have that can give it a little bit of a roundness. I'm going to stack my flower um, with the, the uh, Paper Temptress amethyst on the bottom and there's so many different ways you can shape your flowers um, I've seen this on another video I'll have to give the lady credit I'll have to look her name up but um she scores down the center of each petal and then pinches them to give them some shape and then you can bend them all up We'll do the same thing on the small. I'm taking the green art paper and um, I'm going to curl the petals on this. And again, we'll bend those up. flower. I'm going to use a paintbrush with a small end to curl it. Paper curls very easily. And then fold it up. You'll want to work on a non-stick craft surface. because your um, flowers <laughs> will stick to anything. This you need some sticky stuff once it gets hard. But you just put the, put the flower down into the beauty. Cover both sides. I use a poker to uh, let, get it to let go sometimes. It is sticky stuff. and then shake up the extra. And set it down. I want to show you on this Mica Metallic. Um, it is really cool. I love using this because wherever you make the creases, don't know why, but it gets a really cool effect. Um, the beauty darkens the creases. And the edges, see on the edges how it's kind of getting darker? I hope the camera's picking that up. these with the amethyst mica metallic on the bottom and then I'm going to stagger this pretty designer paper from basic gray and then I'll go with the mica metallic flower again just place them how you like them and then the designer paper again and I'm going to stagger that now you can glue these together with your favorite glue or you can um, do this little trick I'm going to do here with the heat gun.
Okay, I didn't want to talk while the heat gun was going. I had to do that on a different video and it didn't work real well. What I did was just hold the push down some pressure on all of the pieces and heat them all up together with the heat gun. And what this does, it gets rid of any imperfections, um, like where you may have trimmed some of your flowers, and um, it bonds them together. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to assemble. Um, the piece we're going to use, this little flower on that we just made, is um, going to be a little pin or brush. Cut about a one inch piece of the paper temptress amethyst mica metallic that I used on the flower. Um, as the base. I just hand cut it. You can punch it if you want. Um, I have this really gorgeous um, mauve velvet from Really Reasonable Ribbon. Um, I, I'm on her design team and she has some awesome, awesome stuff and I'm lucky enough to get a play. What you're going to do with that is take your favorite glue. I use Fabri-Tac from Beacon. I like it because it doesn't bleed through. And then just put a little dot on the bottom. And then bend, bend the other end around, front side up. And attach it. And adjust this so that you have a nice uniform um, shape. I kind of think it looks like a, the, center, the center of a rose. But you'll do that three times so that you have three pieces. And then again with the Fabri-Tac or whatever adhesive you choose to, to use, just put another little dot on the back. And place these around on your little piece of um, cardstock evenly apart because you're going to place the leaves in the center between each of them. I do have a tendency to get messy with whatever I'm working on. Okay, those look pretty even. Now we're going to put the leaves on. And for the leaves, since they're so small, I just go ahead and put the glue on the base. and then place them in. Like so. And then you'll put a um, pretty hefty glob for attaching the flower. And then place it however you think it looks best. I have been adding little rhinestones, thinners, add those, I use um, diamond glaze because if you get messy with it, it will dry clear and shiny just like the um, UD did and you won't see the difference. And then just place it in there. If you want to turn your project into a pin, you'll You'll just need a pin back, but you can buy it at any craft store. Use the same diamond glaze to attach the pin back. I'm not going to do it here because you have to let it set upside down and dry. But just put a, a, a good little amount um, where you're going to lay the pin. Put the pin on there and let it dry for maybe an hour before you move it. show you a couple of different things, too. This is a project I did um, that I had posted on my blog here well back. It's, it's a, a bookmark. And for this one I just I did just a couple of petals and then I did some faux brads out of the same uh, paper and I made a bookmark. And I used clear dollar stamps, heartfelt sentiments to put the little cinnamon on there.